Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Plant Services Tool Belt Podcast. I'm your moderator for today, Chief Editor Tom Welk from Plant Services. And today we're looking forward to the next event on the event calendar, which is Leading Reliability, taking place in Clearwater, Florida over May 10th through 12th. And today we're fortunate to have with us three key participants in Leading Reliability, uh, three, frankly, very old and dear friends to, to me and Plant Services. Uh, Sean Eisenhower from Eridicio, Maureen Gribble from UE Systems, and Don Cayata from RDA Technologies. Welcome, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. So last year, we sort of went through blow by blow what to expect. This year, I was hoping we could talk about what we enjoyed last year and also what you specifically are looking forward to this year about the event. Um, and if I could start with Sean. Sean, last year, one of my favorite moments of the, of, of the event was it was a panel session that you ran, sort of debates and reliability. Um, and it focused on seven or eight different discussions, debates, long-term issues that face reliability and maintenance professionals. Things like uh, when you do planners, do you do 20 to one planners or 10 to one planners in terms of staffing? Uh, does reliability happen from the top down or bottom up or in both directions? I remember that full hour was full of everyone sharing their thoughts on how things happened at their plant and sharing sort of trade secrets on how they got the job done. That was fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, I, I enjoyed that session as well. The audience was really uh, engaged. They were, they were, uh, you know, it's it's always interesting when you have a large group like that. Are they going to jump in and share, or are they going to sit there quietly and watch? You know, and yeah. uh, definitely, you know, I think this is kind of the the whole the whole way we think about this conference. It's really a jump in and share kind of conference. Um, and they did. They did. We debated a lot of really good points. Um, you know, as you said, they, they, they don't necessarily all have answers. Some of them, it's more about where, what's the maturity of your facility and what are the direction and, and you know, what are your goals? And that really dictates some of the, uh, the outcomes and answers in many of these situations. But certainly a fun topic to debate. And I, I think, you know, I picked up some things. I think a lot of folks probably pulled some things that they could think about that may change the way they go about uh, implementing whatever it was, whether it was planners or schedulers or reliability or uh, any one of a number of topics. And I think this year we're going to do the same thing. In fact, one of the topics I'm bringing is a very debatable topic uh, for my, uh, my workshop. Excellent. I remember there was a real sense of comfort and, and intimacy, if I can use that word for the conference, where the debate panel was on day two. Uh, but even before then, everyone had gotten to know each other. The event is sized so that you really do get a chance to meet whomever you want to meet at the event. Uh, and bump into new people at places like the lunch table and breakfast table. By the time you get to the panels, everyone's ready to share and talk like world friends. Yes, absolutely. I, I think that's one of the things I love about these venues and these conferences that aren't, you know, quite so large. Uh, you get to sit down and and one on one chat. And so, if you've got a question or concern, you bring it with you, and then. Now you can find five or six or seven other people that are facing that same problem or dealing with that issue and, and, and have a discussion. And I, I think that's, that's pretty awesome because you leave there with um, new ideas or you leave there with maybe a different perspective on, on what you were going to do moving forward. Well, and I remember last year, Jeff Hay from RDA Technologies gave a really interesting panel uh, on, on reliability and physics. And maybe I can talk to Don about this too. Don, you're with RDA Technologies. Um, yes. Do you remember any panels last year which jumped out to you as super memorable? Because that one was sort of, we, we came to a maintenance conference, we left with a science degree. It was amazing, that panel. That's right. Yeah. And it is it is one of those things that because of the diversity of our, our hosts and, and the folks that are involved in this event, I really think that it's you know, this year, Jenna, who is our COO, is going to talk about applied anthropology. So, you know, we're, we're bringing in, you know, different things that, you know, like Sean says, that are debatable and things that are out there that, you know, it all relates. So, right. It, it, it brings it together. So um, I think and one of the other things that, you know, just to piggyback a little bit on what Sean said was, if I heard over and over about how approachable the experts were, um, and, and you could, you, you, you didn't have to cut through any hype 
to approach our experts. It was it was purely conversational and and people were very comfortable. And I think part of that, again, was we were very eager to get out. So which I still think people are very eager to get out. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've been delayed by at least one quarter by Omicron. Um, and it, it's just such a relief <clears throat> that it looks you know clear sailing for this conference and the rest of the conference calendar. Everyone's looking forward to getting back together again. Yes, agree. Well, and there's so many extras in the conference too, um, ranging from the workshops on the first day to the beach barbecue bash on the last day. Uh, and I, you know, Clearwater is such a special location with the beach, the beach is right there. Uh, the, and the closing beach barbecue event is, is outdoors. You get a chance to breathe in the air and just relax with your, with your colleagues. Uh, Maureen, that's always been one of my favorite parts. Maybe I can ask you, uh, uh, what are you looking forward to in terms of like the, the special extras this year? Yeah, I mean, I think we've got, just as we said, the topics are diverse. We also have a diverse set of activities, like you said. So we, we really try to make sure that you're getting the bang for your buck as far as an education and, and actually actionable ideas and um, practices that you can take back to your facility um, in, from the sessions that you attend and the education part of it. Um, mm-hmm. But we also really try to make sure that there's a lot of fun and interaction and time to, to make those connections, make new friends um, and, and get to kind of also <laughs> enjoy yourself. So yeah, Clearwater Beach is a gorgeous location. The sunsets every night are, are second to none. Um, and yeah, we love that, that beach barbecue. It is a fun time. And it's, it's great to, to see people who were strangers at the beginning of the week teaming up, you know, to play cornhole together and, and playing bocce ball and, and just enjoying that camaraderie um, in the community that, that gets built throughout the week. And just seeing how many return customers we have coming to the event. Um, we've got some, obviously, a lot of new faces um, registered, but a lot of folks who were there last year or signed up again this year. So I think that tells you everything you need to know about what kind of event um, we've got in store for you. It, it all works together so well. I mean, you, you've got two companies uh, who are as partners who are focused uh, very strongly on the technology side. And you've got uh, the third company, Erudisha, which is focused on the training and, and, uh, and culture end. Um, at this event, I'm always struck by how, well, the sessions are presented so that all three uh, approaches together work in complement. You know, if you want to go see a session on new technology and how to apply it, there's a lot of customers who are there to present what they're doing with the technology. If you want to hear about how the how culture is being changed on the plant floor, you've got those sessions. And the discussions don't just focus one or the other. It, it, you know, the, the message that the conference always leaves me with is that these two are inseparable, of course, and that discussions on one will inform the other. Um, now, I, I'm looking forward to those kind of discussions, too, uh, 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 focusing on how do you train people up to embrace new technologies? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think, you know, from from my perspective, it's the best of both worlds, right? Because if you if you just have the technology, um, you may identify a lot of defects, you may find a lot of problems, but it can be very hard to get them resolved, get them planned, get them scheduled, you know, reduce the total cost of doing that work. Um, and on the flip side, if you just have the processes, you just have planning and scheduling and PM optimization and root cause analysis, and you don't have the tools, you may be missing a large portion of the data you need in order to make good decisions. Uh, you know, and so I think the, the 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 groups working together makes a very cohesive package that folks can start to look at and say, okay, here's my goals. Here's where I want to go this year. Uh, What do I need to plug in? What steps do I need to put in play? And, you know, we kind of talked about it earlier and not to belabor the point, but I mean, I think just being able to to walk away from the group and you mentioned uh, the barbecue. I mean, I remember the barbecue last year and and more than more than once, probably four or five times, I walked away with an individual and walked out on the beach or walked down uh, away from the group to have a discussion about you know how they were going to make their next steps and where they were going to go and what they wanted to do and uh, I just think it's really hard to do that in in other environments so we absolutely love going down for this event yeah and and one other thing to to piggyback on that again um, with Sean is you know that barbecue is also scheduled at the end of the event right people stay for that event, just so that they can talk and mingle. Because a lot of times at these conferences, what's the first thing you want to do is get out, right? 
but they really wanted to wrap up those conversations and the things there was just so much to talk about and, and didn't, they didn't want to miss an opportunity. So that is unique. And I've been in, you know, events for almost 30 years. You know, kind of get back to where you started, Tom, uh, you know, th- talking about the panels and some of the things that are coming up. I think that's another area that that I'm pretty excited about, because something else I've noticed about this conference is folks that won't normally present or speak at other organizations will come and speak at this event. So you get a really diverse group of speakers, uh, you know, covering a lot of different topics. Um, we've got a, a panel that we're doing where we're going to have um, four of our IBL students, our blended learning students, up on stage. They're going to be talking about the implementation that they've gone through and some of the things that they were facing. And, you know, they may not quite have been ready. Actually, I think most of these folks could have very well have presented the full session, but mm-hmm. but they chose to be a part of this panel interview because it's a little more comfortable, but it's also easier to ask them questions. In fact, you can, you can go right on to the leadingreliability.com website and submit questions to those to those panels that, that, that will then be used to, to get discussion going and that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, the other thing I would say, too, is we we tend to push the envelope a little bit more. I mean, I know I pushed it last year and I probably pushed it too far with my uh, with my Star Wars antics in the last session. Um, but this is a conference where we can have a little fun, you know, let our hair down and 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 do some things that we wouldn't necessarily do at some of the other conferences. So, um, you know, I, I think it's just it's it's a lot of fun in these panels. Uh, it's a lot of new information from people you haven't heard from before. And, you know, more than likely you're, you're going to hear some topics covered in a way that they have not been covered. Yeah, I really liked the last panel of last of last year when you did dress up as the Jedi as as Obi Wan uh, for the Star Wars panel. That was that was fantastic. Yeah, Tom, yeah. that's one of the things I won't be doing this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have the pictures, so if anybody wants to see, um, <laughs> they're sad they're going to miss out. Don't worry. But um, yeah, so Sean, I totally agree. Like we've we've got a customer um, at UE Systems that reached out to me and said, hey we've had so much success with your um, ultrasound equipment that we would love to come present. Heck, we'll even put a booth together so people can come and talk to us about the different um, ways that we're using ultrasound at our facility, which I thought was just amazing. Um, And uh, so we're excited to have, you know, customers like that, 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 yeah, I don't think they're putting abstracts together for, for some of the other bigger industry events, but they feel comfortable and excited to come share with this community um, the, the successes. And and they very much pointed out the, the failures that they had along the way, um, but they, they, they know that this is an environment where they can come and, and share that. They know that people are going to walk away learning something from them um, and, and hopefully also, you know, learning from the audience as well. So I guess it's just, it's really a great, unique conference in that regard, for sure. I remember we meet a couple of guys from Frito Lay in Fayetteville, uh, Carlos Calloway and Roy Smithson. We we happened to get together for breakfast on one morning. We ended up sort of paneling around the conference over, over over the course of several meals, and of course their session was fantastic, talking about reliability on the line. And frankly, in in a moment when people needed things like chips and comfort food to get them through uh, the pandemic, you know they knew Frito Lay really couldn't afford to go down. You wanted to make sure people had. Uh, the, the food they wanted and that the company was capitalizing on the, on the opportunity and the technologies they applied to keep the machines going and, and, and keep them reliable were, were just fascinating. Yeah. And that um, what was awesome was because the team from plant services was there taking excellent notes of during their session, you all turned that into, I believe one of the cover stories of the, the uh, magazine, which, you know, for, for folks to be able to then show that to their boss, like, not only did they present at a conference, but look, now my, you know, this journey that we were on is, is now in print um, that they, that they can hold on to that um, and, and celebrate, um, I think was just really cool. So um, thank you guys for doing that. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. And, and thank you for, for having us down to cover the event. There's so much to learn and so much to share out with our readers, uh, especially those who can't be there. Uh, if you can't be there though, it's from May 10th through 12th uh, and you can go to leading reliability dot com um you know there, there's a hotel room block and and maureen there's a, a special code or a link to use that people can use to to get the conference room rate 
right? Yep, yep, right from the leadingreliability.com website. All the travel information is there. There's a link to, to book your room right there online to get the discounted rate. Um, that will expire on April 16th. So if you plan to come and want to be able to stay at this beautiful hotel um, and not pay an arm and a leg, um, you'll want to take care of that here sooner than later. Um, but of course, our team is ready to help um, if, if anybody registers a little bit later, just get with us and we'll try to accommodate folks as best we can because um, we want you guys to be there. Awesome, man. And beyond the speakers from Eridicio and RDA Technology and UE Systems, I'm just looking at uh, some of the people who are speaking. Someone from Archer Daniels Midland will be speaking on predictive maintenance. Someone from Missouri River Energy Services is going to present on um, PDM for substations. Um, so you've got a lot of people who are coming in with real life experience, um, ready to share what they know and ready just to, to have great discussions all week. Yeah. And, you know, I, I think we can't remiss and, and, and not discuss a little bit about the workshops as well. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, as I as I think through those workshops, you know, if somebody wants to make a deeper dive, I think there's another area all day Tuesday. There are workshops. Um, we've got one where we're diving specifically. Rick Clonan is diving specifically into backlog management, which is a hot topic for a lot of our folks right now. Uh, you know, they're, they're trying to get their backlog under control. Um, and so we've got, there's a, there's the motion amplification. I know mm -hmm. Dawn, you can talk more about that, but you guys are going to do a hands-on session uh, on Tuesday as well. And so, you know, then the, you guys also have a two day, a Monday and Tuesday workshop going on. Uh, and then UE's got uh, bearing health and lubrication workshop for folks that need a little more than just a, a session or a panel. They want to dive a little deeper into a topic and, and get into the details. I can't wait to see you again, all three of you down at the event in, in less than a month. And again, that's leading reliability. Uh, dot com and that leading reliability is one word uh, you can also look at in google and it'll come up the dates are may 10th through 12th um you can also uh click the links that'll be in the podcast notes here well they'll take you right to the registration site um and i just want to volunteer to the team here that you know it may, we may not be doing jedis this year but i do have my doctor who scarf on standby if you want to go that route this year and next year thanks for that I we appreciate that. <laughs> Tom, I've got some ideas. That that wasn't one of them, but uh, I think we've got some real fun announcements coming out shortly about some uh, some of the other speakers that will be a part of it, the keynote and others. So uh, look to social media for that. Look to the website for that. And, and I, think, uh, I think we are really preparing for what should be an awesome week. Excellent. Well, All right. Thanks Look forward to seeing everybody. Thank you for being on the podcast today, and I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you for having us, Tom. Thanks, Tom. See you there.